Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to a... for the AIDS Foundation, for the Allison Gertz Foundation. And I'm here, with, I'm here with Daniel Benedict, one of tonight's hosts. Now tell my audience how you became aware of this foundation and why you decide to support it. I, I, I've been coming here for a long time now. I think it, it's 20 years old, it's its 20th anniversary. Yes, so it's a big, yeah, it's big, a big event one. tonight. And I've been coming for probably 10 or 15 years. and. Um, I had a friend that I was invited me maybe 10 years ago, and I've been supporting it since. And it's an unbelievable uh, charitable foundation, and I'm glad to be here. And you know, we still need to bring awareness because a lot of people are still very ignorant about yeah. this illness, and they think now that there's a cure for AIDS, but really, that's not entirely no, the case. No, no, it's 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 true, and I think bringing awareness to the young community around New York too because I think people in New York feel indis they're, they're invincible and they're they're safe from things and it's still and that's really it, not the case not the case at all not with you are you doing anything new that we should know about oh uh, yes I am actually my audience. <laughs> I'm a brand ambassador for leading hotels of the world so I'm doing marketing events for leading hotels, which we have 432 properties around the world. So I'm doing a bunch of fun things with them. And all is uh, busy and great. Um, should we follow you on Facebook and the hotels? Facebook and I have a blog too. Tell it's uh, blog.lhw.com. And what about Facebook? I'm on Facebook. It's Daniel Benedict. Daniel Benedict, yes. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you, Thank darling. You so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more celebrity interviews at Love Heals at Luna Farm. This wonderful foundation and this benefit, a, a, a charity event to benefit the Allison Gertz Foundation. Keep watching. Be champagne kisses. Hello, darlings. Welcome back. We're here at 
Luna loves this wonderful event to benefit AIDS, and I'm here with a big supporter this evening. Introduce yourself to the camera doll. My name's Rebecca Minkoff, and I'm a designer. Rebecca, tell my audience why you are such a big supporter of Luna Loves. Well, I think that being educated is power, and I think the more people that can be educated about this charity and about what it's doing for HIV and AIDS, the better, so that more people are aware of it and can help, you know, educate people and, and be have awareness. Yes, and that's what we're all about. We're here to enlighten people and to bring more awareness about AIDS research and how we can educate people against HIV right. and to stop this deadly disease from ever taking place ever again. That's right. But now you're here to enjoy yourself, and I'm sure you've been having a lot of fun here in the Hamptons. Can you tell my audience about some of the wonderful, other wonderful events that you've been to so far this summer? This is actually my first because I've been out of town traveling the oh. most of the summer. So this is the, the first big event. So yeah. Terrific, yeah. terrific. Well, can you tell us a little bit about what you've been up to? I've been uh, working my little butt off. I was lucky enough to go to Israel for a few weeks and um, just enjoying the summer. Oh, it's a beautiful place. The Hamptons is a wonderful place to enjoy the summer. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can you tell my audience where we could go to find out more information about your collection and your design? Yeah, you can find out more at RebeccaMinkoff.com. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment, guys, with more interviews right here. Barbara Streisand. Welcome back, I'm Cognac Willow Lane, and we're here at Love Heals at Luna Farm, and it's, it's all about bringing awareness for the Allison Gertz Foundation Against AIDS, and I'm here with Charlotte Monson, designer. Charlotte, now tell my audience why you are such a big supporter of this event tonight. I've just known about this um, charity for many, many, many years, and just once I met with Dini, and I just have been involved ever since I heard the story, and so it's so wrenching, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, of course. And it's so real, so. You Absolutely, it's real. very real. And we have to fight this disease because so many people are still unaware of the devastation that it can cause. And people think of this a cure now when there really isn't. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely important to spread awareness and protect yourself how you can and just, you know, be involved how you can. Tell me you doing? What is going on with Charlotte Ronson right now uh, oh. in fashion? I'm getting ready for my runway show yes. for spring 2013 already. I'm all excited about fashion. Yeah, right? Yes, very excited. And then I do a line with JC Penny called I Heart Ronson, so that uh, ev delivers every month. And then I launched Beauty, Charlotte Ronson Beauty for Sephora last September. So that's been really exciting and fun. And I launched Bags last September. So. It's just never ending. Well, you look terrific, Charlie. Thank this you. It's one so of your dresses. Yeah. You look gorgeous. Thank you. And thank you so much for talking to us right here for the Long Island Exchange.com and Cognac Corner Magazine. Thank you very much. Okay. And we'll be back in a moment, dogs, with more celebrity interviews. Keep watching. Big champagne kisses. Oh, you look absolutely beautiful Thank tonight. You. Thank you. I like to see you wearing the colors of America. Yes, well, it's Independence Week. Yes, it is. So I'm, cel I'm still celebrating That's the 4th great. of July. Keep on celebrating. I am, but Nicole, 
Now tell my audience why you're such a big supporter of this event tonight. I think the story, just the way that it started, is so authentic and it's so beautiful and it's so inspiring. And I think bringing awareness to the, you know, the fight aids. Yeah, bringing, so bringing awareness to like young people is really, really important because it's such a novelty and nobody ever thinks it's going to happen to them. But this is like a story that proves that it can and I think it's really inspiring and I think that there's so much strength behind it so I'm really happy to be a supporter of it. Well, you look gorgeous. <laughs> Tell my audience, what, what are you wearing? Who's the designer? I am wearing, you'll have to look. In the back. Ah! <laughs> Leela Sham. Leela and I'm Sham. I just discovered her yesterday, actually, and I, I love it. She's Gorgeous. so talented. Thank, Thank you. you so much. And we'll be back in a moment, dogs, for more celebrity interviews. Keep watching. Champagne kisses. at Luna Farm and this is this fabulous event to benefit the Allison Gertz Foundation and that's to bring awareness against AIDS and I'm here with one of the founders of this event. Introduce yourself to the camera. Hi, I'm Dini Van Muffling. I'm one of the co-founders of Love co Heels. That's right. Now explain to my audience about this event tonight. Well, this is our 13th year that we've been holding this event. It's one of the hottest events of the Hampton summer, um, but every penny that we raise here goes to our programs, which teach teenagers about how not to get HIV and AIDS and everything they need to know about it. But this is also a landmark because you're celebrating 20 years that the organization has been established. Am I right about that? That's right. So 20 years ago in August, Allie Gertz died at the age of 26. And um, as you know, she was... She had the disease when she was 16. She was infected when she was 16. She didn't find out until she was 22 because back in the late 80s, they didn't test somebody for HIV who didn't fit the profile groups of the times. And so she was infected for six years before discovering that she had the full bone disease AIDS. Oh, goodness, but this is so important to bring awareness because people seem to think that AIDS is not a threat anymore. I know. I think, uh, you know, in the recent years, AIDS has, has become gone under the radar and it's become slightly stigmatic again, which is really a shame because it's a totally preventable illness. You know, it's not like cancer. You're not, you may not be, you're not predispositioned towards AIDS. You can prevent yourself from getting HIV. It's very simple about some of the accomplishments that you have actually incurred in the last year that my audience might be not aware of. Sure, well, uh, among our programs uh, include sending HIV positive speakers, much like Allie, into schools, and we've reached over 530,000 kids in the last 20 years, and uh, we average about 50,000 kids a year. So last year we reached 50,000 kids over the academic year. Um, we also train uh, teenage girls to be health educators among their peers in high-risk communities um, we, through a program called LEAP, and now we're working on boys. And uh, basically, you know, if you talk about it and you break down the, the myths about the disease and the, the, the crazy ideas that people can have about it and just have straightforward conversations about it, it it's amazing what you can accomplish with kids. Sure is. I want you to tell my audience where they can go to find out more information. Sure, just go to loveheels.org. Loveheels.org. Yes. Thank you so much. No, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. We'll be back in a moment, dogs, for more celebrity interviews. Keep watching. Pink Champagne Kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. dressed to impress one of a kind girl. 
It's been a Crybaby Productions, darlings.